In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the Google toolbar. If your Google toolbar is not turned on you can find that under view toolbars. So the first icon on the toolbar is the add location so if we click on that then we can just simply close this message and we can go into here and say 193 London Street Hamilton New Zealand so once we've done that we can then zoom in a little bit closer to where we want to select which is this building here then click on select region and we can make that a little bit larger. Once you're happy with your selection you can then simply click on grab and that imagery will be directly imported into your SketchUp model. So in a previous tip we learned how to use the axis tool and the axis tool belongs to the to the construction toolbar you can see it there. And so what we're going to do is use that access tool to align the drawing axis to the building. So if I change my view here we can see we've got a, a clear uh, right angle. So I'm going to click on the corner then I'm going to click along this edge here and then we're going to choose the green axis which is along this edge here and the drawing axis has now been aligned to the actual imagery. So the next button on the toolbar is the toggle terrain button. So if you click on that it will toggle on any terrain that might be um, associated with that that imagery. So you can see here that the, the height of the ground level slightly changes as we get uh, closer to the, the cricket stadium. At any time you can just toggle that on and off and you can see it there changing. So after um, the axis has been aligned we can just start to draw our building. So with the rectangle tool we can click on the origin there and we can just trace over top of uh, the, the main shape of the building so I believe the footprint's about there. Um, this can be tweaked at any point. Then what we can do is we can get the push-pull tool and push-pull that surface upwards. The really cool thing about adding imagery f from the Google Maps is that it means your model is geo-referenced. So you can see here we've got shadows on the ground. If I was to click on the shadows the shadows are very similar already. We can change the time of day and we can align those shadows um, to the ground shadows. Um, so this can actually be used in a court of law. Uh, we have had customers in the past that have used this to prove um, sun shadow studies and um, it's, it's very accurate. The next button on the toolbar is the um, photo textures if you click on the photo textures it will open up a new dialog it will just give you a little bit of um, information about how to use it so we're going to just start using the photo texture straight away and this is quite important um, how, you, how you use it so let's say we wanted to add imagery on this face here for example we can now go and select that face move that over there, select the face we would like to add imagery to, select the region, then you can go and click and drag the, the handles and put it onto the actual the building. So I'm going to do that like that. So it's something like that. Okay so when you're happy with that you just say grab and it then aligns that texture to the, the surface. Let's try another one, so if we click over onto this surface here we can then 
change our position so just go along London Street a little bit further um, then we can select region again and just make sure you've obviously got the surface you want to apply that to selected then we can go and move the handles over top of the surface again once you're happy click on grab and it will now align that to it uh, we can also we can also go and grab the um, image off the, the ground object so hold alt with the paint bucket if you hold alt click on the on the image below then click on the surface above it will then paint it that same surface and we'll do we'll do one more edge or sorry one more side we'll just move back along London Street and maybe we just try and get a little bit closer uh, one back actually would be good so we then select the building again the surface again, select region I might cancel that and just see if we can zoom in a bit there we go, that makes it look a bit, a little bit better select region and select grab and it's now grabbed that that imagery so it looks a little little bit rough and um, you can do this with um, any photographs if you are on site you could take a photograph and then apply that image to the surface and um, we're going to show you uh, more about that in a later tutorial on how to do um, custom texturing um, using the photo match and um, yeah that would be in, in the intermediate um, tutorials so now that we have got our imagery for the site plan using the add location we've now drawn on top of it um, a building that we would like the last toolbar on the list is the share models on Google Earth so now that we have our model here we can click on uh, preview model in Google Earth it will then launch Google Earth and it's showing it's showing a few tips so I'm going to uh, just turn that off quickly and you can see now our models come into Google Earth and we can just check it out on Google Earth and um, show your customers how, how their building will look on the earth.